Okay, so we have Queen of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, it's Six of Cups. Hope you can see it. Yeah, I need to get a light. <laughs> so, do you feel that for some of you, it's going to be very different. Um, for one group of you, I do feel it's going to be someone from the past finally uh, repaying you somehow the debts. It could be financial, it could be uh, just um, in other, other way to pay you with something. But to someone from the past, it could be your old friend, it could be a family member you haven't seen for a very long time. Um, I do feel someone's like, e either if they did something wrong to you, they're coming back to you, willing to repay the debt to you. Either whatever whatever debt it is for you. For others, do you feel it's gonna be you who's um, gonna do that? And I don't think this relationship was um, or this person or whatever is coming from the past. Are you going to see someone from the past <sighs> that you ended great? Um, so, because we have a devil with the Three of Cups, so could be, I do feel that it could be you, obviously, it could be your family member, it could be your friend or something, do you feel for some of you, uh, it's not going to be for all of you guys, but someone who's had a trouble with alcohol, so it could be... Uh, they went down, uh, couldn't pick up the pieces. It's just like, you know, one of those things that someone, someone's addiction hit them hard. And by the looks, that person is coming back um, to apologize to people what they have done. It could be you, as I said. It could be, if it's not something, someone from the past and you, uh, it could be that someone close to you, it could be air sign, as we feel we have Queen of Pentacles here. And we have a devil, so it could be Capricorn. If it's not Capricorn, it could be just someone close to you, because Six of, of Cups talks about closeness, friendship, something like that. Uh, could be family. Uh, someone might need your help with this. Someone have so, some kind of a sort of addiction, gambling, drinking, could be drugs. Uh, but I do feel mostly alcohol related. Or it could be just taking pills and, and drinking it. A warning for those who are on a, a painkillers at the moment or something. Don't overdo it. Um, make sure you're not taking painkillers longer than you need. If you do, please go and see your doctor because that could lead to the addiction. That's a message for someone, definitely. Um, okay, we have three of ones with a knight of ones. So, is movement is happening, something is happening, uh, something is going the right direction. So, if it's not a person who's toxic, someone is have addiction problems or something, it could be that um, maybe you are in a toxic relationship, toxic environment. Um, someone, I do feel, I don't know, Sagittarius, someone is trying to pull you something, not something good. I don't know, or some, if it's not someone's addiction, someone's trying to get your money out of you. It could something re be related with travel, it could be related with water, it could be something, I don't know, water, selling water, uh, working in a, some kind of water place to do with the water. This kind of is because water energy and liquid energy is coming, or liquid, yeah, it's coming very strongly. 
So someone might try to convince you to buy shares or something. Someone is trying to trick you, Sagittarius. In, it could be a relationship. It could be someone. But is someone you know? And this person knows that they're trying to trick you. So just you need to see that. Or if it's happened already, this person will acknowledge of, you know, uh, what mistake they did and come back and apologize and how make up up to you. You know, for those who I feel if you lost money in this kind of deal, some kind of, I don't know, it just feels like something was done unfairly. You, you had trust in someone, you trusted something. Uh, it could be even think that like if company went bankrupt, you know, or something and you didn't get m pay off, you know, money, you know, and stuff. It could happen that you might get some money. You can have like, I don't know, some kind of financial support coming back to you. And this ten of swords and five of swords. It's definitely detox. It was um, maybe something happened five months ago. Something might happen maybe ten months ago or five years ago. So it's something happened long time ago, but it was very heavily for you. Sorry, just let me turn this off. So yeah, definitely feel something was very heavy on you, on your mind of whatever has happened. You know, just like. You're just like, I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did this. You know, if it's not financial, if it's not someone addiction, it's just like, I feel that someone was playing you for a very long time. Maybe a friend. Maybe that friend did it for some kind of, um, I don't know. Maybe the friend had, had hidden agendas. Maybe you... You always have them around for dinner, you know, maybe they had no money. Maybe you always did this or this for this person. Maybe that's why they've been friends with you. So for everyone, it's going to be different, guys. Yeah. This partnership, this friendship, whatever it is, is it needs to die or change. So for, it's going to be either you're going to cut someone off if someone was unfair to you and, and something was unfairly done to you, or you you maybe felt used or something. If not, is definitely someone's need a help and the dead card is talks about changing the ways someone is doing something is happening in their life or your life. It could be that you might need a help. Um, to feel that, you know, maybe some something to do about addictions, guys, painkillers, um, liquids, it's not, uh, drinking, something t taking internally. It's for some of you, you need to seek help. And if if I just need to say it because I the spirit wants me to say if you find yourself in the situation, you need to know that friend from the past a very old friend, someone very close, so it could be earth sign, uh, someone very motherly like person, very caring person, um, it might help you. Okay? It's not, I know it's not going to resonate with all of you and you know, for some of you it could, it doesn't need, it's not going to be such a big betrayal. That's what I was looking for for some time. So it's not going to be a big betrayal for some of you. It could be just something, someone sneaking around at work, doing something, ah, just stalking rubbish about you or something. So for everyone's going to be different. You will recognize yourself if, if it's related to you, if it's not, if it's not related to completely to you. I'm very happy for you, but this message needed to come out uh, for some of you Sagittarius. And please do check the new moon arising sign. And what a lovely card, guys. After that, we have Ace of Wands with the Page of Wands. So a new beginning is possible, especially for those who's, uh, who's experiencing big things in life. 
someone having close to you having big problems and stuff there's you will come other side you're definitely gonna come on the other side yeah look bottom of the card i have emperor you strong enough to go through this you strong to help someone out you strong enough to go through whatever is is in, you need to face it now So it could be relationship related, it could be addiction related, but really strong feeling about uh, liquid, about water, about some pharmaceuticals coming into my mind. Um, if you had a share or you work or someone's works in this in this kind of um, place, is something related, something to do with liquids. I don't know. What liquids could be, you know, it could be hand cream factory uh, or whatever. You're selling water, you know, water cleaning reservoirs or, or anything like that. Think about it. And it's definitely something related. And if it either was in the past or now, for those who was in the past and it, it was like um, court is going on you know and and you getting try to get compensation or something it's coming your way it's definitely not right now but you will start oh, yeah it's happening it's finally something happening so okay let me pull uh two cards from psychic tarot of the heart yeah be careful people with medicine with anything don't mix up uh, medicine um, don't take more than you need and if you feel that you taking for longer time than you need and doctor advice go see a doctor um, it's just be careful Sagittarius what's going on but it definitely I just need needed for some of you i do feel needed um this so we have a teach so it's gonna it's probably gonna be that for some of you um you will help someone maybe you went through something and someone close to you is going to have similar problem and you can help them out or you can reach out to someone who's had similar thing happening in their life, whatever is happening in your life, I don't know, and they will be able to help you. Helpless and hopeless. So either you might feel um, this upcoming weeks a little bit like that, or someone in your surrounding, as I said, Taros is always worse versus um, situation. Either it's us or someone close to us, energy, someone very close to us, energy, and you will go, and you can be involved in that, like full head, full on. So it feels heavy, but it's not. It's not. Helpless and hopeless situation, guys. You might feel like this, but it's not. You know, there is someone who can help you, or you can help them. You know, it could be your child going through something. Um, it could be your parents going through something, your best friend. Just trying to figure out, you know, examples for you guys. Okay, two cards flipped out. I'm going to take it. And we have first card is saying forgiveness. So as I said in the beginning of the reading, uh, someone might come back to your life asking for forgiveness, or it could be that you're asking forgiveness of someone. So it's definitely energies, <laughs> each deck is confirming uh, what was said before. And be forgiving. Be forgiving because if the person is comes to apologize, they're in a place that it's not like a child did something wrong and says, sorry. No, it's going to be the same apology. Um, and this person went through a lot to to finally understand that, that it had been wrong or something. And it could be you. 
again it could be you need to go and asking apologizing someone and then we have internal flame love love for what for yourself love for others and this forgiveness is goes very nicely with this internal flame but I really want to read actually a message in a book for that. It's a brand new deck, so uh, please don't judge me. And uh, don't have all knowledge about them yet. You are being encouraged to live your truth. Don't let yourself be swayed by popular belief if those beliefs don't resonate with you or are contrary to your own beliefs. The universe is testing your faith in yourself. Will you hold your ground or give in? Consider that the right path for another may not necessarily be the right path for you, and the right path for you might not be right for others. Stand firm and you will feel empowered and also liberated. So yes, that's for those guys. It definitely feels, as I said, someone might start, um, you know, offer you something, pull you to some kind of, you know, it could be just, oh, try this tablet, oh, nothing wrong with that, you know, be careful because you don't know how your body is going to react to that and it could be maybe just the last tablet you're ever going to take. I'm not saying anything, you know, oh, too bad, maybe it was too harsh example to you guys, it's just Trust your judgment and, you know, if something is going to, you know, even offer buy shares or do something, anything shady, shady, something is not completely um, satisf fully satisfying for you, question that. 